Hello everybody in Berlin and wherever else in the world you're listening to this. Uh, thank you, Ulrike, for the invitation. It's great to connect and uh, this is what we have now, so we might as well use it, okay? It's great to be in contact and be present for others, even if you're not using touch, which is what we in Shiatsu are used to use as a tool for connection and, and for communication and healing. Now, there's a lot that can be done just by using the tools that we use in Shiatsu to help ourselves and help other people. For example, grounding is the one that I use the most, is a, is a technique that, or, or is a tool that through many techniques you can apply in order to help you be present and stay in tune with what is going on now, okay? Um, I imagine I'm, I'm living in front of the ocean right uh, here and I surf from time to time and it's crazy the thought that you can stand on a, on a little board and keep your balance and equilibrium while the whole ocean and the wave is, is carrying you with a lot of power who knows where. This is, this is the same thing that is happening now. There are a lot of changes happening and sometimes it's difficult to find our balance and equilibrium with so much movement that it feels like chaotic. At the same time, you know, if we find that place, that alignment inside of us that allows us to get in contact with the floor, get in contact with the board on the wave, it makes everything easier. It makes uh, you more aware of which changes you need to make in order to go with the flow and keep yourself in a stable position. So I'm going to suggest that we go through a few steps now in order to check how your, our grounding is. For example, by bringing our attention to the contact of our feet with the ground. And some of you, as part of me too, is like, oh, I wasn't really feeling my feet. Where are my feet? Oh, okay, I remember. Here they are. And I feel my left foot a little bit more present than my right foot. My, um, the sensation of my, my right foot feels flatter, you know, like more of my foot is in contact with the ground. And on my left foot, I feel like two or three points are receiving more weight than the rest. The picture is going to be different for everybody. But as long as you bring your attention to how your feet are in contact with the ground, something's going to start happening. And most likely, it will be a pleasant sensation that you're able to let go of whatever is in your mind and you start tuning into the sensations of the body and not only of your feet now because I redirected my attention to my feet I can feel my back my shoulders I can feel the back of my legs I can feel how I am sitting on this chair right now and as I do that, my feet are starting to become alive. There's no right or wrong with this exercise. If you feel nothing, that's perfectly fine. That, that is what's happening. You're not in contact with the earth and that's okay. It might be appropriate at times, but I think now it, it is a good exercise to to train ourselves to stay in contact with the ground, making things real. Not real because um, they're in any particular way, real because they're happening now. Most of our worries come from thinking what's going to happen or thinking of what I could have done so this and this and this and that should have happened or not. But if I 
have the sensation that I am feeling my whole being in this place, in this moment, even if it's just for a second, because this is something that you are going to get it and lose it, get it and lose it many times. So that tiny moment that you connect with your, um, um, the flow of the energy of the earth that's coming in through your feet, then everything gets aligned and you'll be able to relax because you will know that you're having this support under your feet. Your mind will clear because all the excess thoughts or excess energy that you have in the head will have way to go. And you'll be able to think more clearly. That's what's happened to me. Even my voice changes when I feel my feet. Uh, opera singers, you know, they feel their feet on the, on the floor before they start singing because it gives you more projection, more um, authority, more uh, honesty, uh, authenticity. This comes just from bringing yourself to the present moment. And I encourage you to do this many times a day. Whenever I'm working with a client online or even, you know, in my uh, presential uh, sessions, you know, when I'm working with my clients, I am always checking my own grounding because that is what gives authenticity to my touch. That is what gives authenticity to my words. You know, words get more weight. You become, uh, you, you get gravitas weight you know like that the um, the power of authenticity the power of being present which we are lacking lacking so much these days with so many distractions and so many screens and so many things that call our um, attention outside of ourselves bring your energy bring your attention back to the connection of your feet with the ground we don't need to stop the world to do that. We can have this conversation. We can have a negotiation. We can have, um, we can have, uh, uh, take action on anything that we need to do. And it's not one thing or the other. I can take a step. I can uh, act with grounding in my feet grounding in my body, I can speak, I can think with the sensation of being grounded and the outcome is completely different than if I'm with my feet in the air. I encourage you to keep trying this in different times of the day, in different situations. You know, it helps to have the contact of the feet physically on the ground. So you can do this standing or sitting on a chair um, but you can also do it in, in Seiza or in any position. It's a sensation that comes from allowing ourselves to be supported by the earth. Totally enjoyable, very relaxing. And if you don't get this sensation, well, it might be because you have an issue with what's underneath, you know, that symbolically is the mother. So if I don't have a good relationship with my mother, it might be interfering as well with my connection with the earth. But working with my connection with the earth is going to help me to improve my relationship with my mother, motherhood, feminine energy in general. I hope you enjoy this. Keep me posted. If anything comes up from the practice, do let me know. I am very available. Um, and uh, I'll be able to help you with anything that will help you to improve your simple, humble practice of grounding. Much love to you all.